guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Haley, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got this holiday-inspired makeup look right here. It's kind of like a get ready with me, kind of like a tutorial, like a mix in between those two. So before we get started, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The lighting in here is like so good today because it snowed last night. So whenever it snows, like my lighting is just really good. So, and I also have a little smoothie that Brad made me. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. Um, I've actually been using this serum as a primer because it's a little bit tacky feeling. And it is the Nan Oil Aloe and White Tea Face Serum. And I really like this um, for winter as a primer because it's hydrating and it's just like tacky so i don't think it's meant to be used that way but i just like it mm, it's like so hydrating and since it's a serum i'm just gonna like spread it up <laughs> oh, it's like cold in here today i'm on this huge sweater it's like kind of falling apart but i love it and I've been using, I'm um, going back to like a damp beauty blender. I need to get a new one so bad. So please don't judge me. It's disgusting. So I'm just going to be using my favorite foundation, the Infallible Fresh Wear. This is 465, the shade. In reality, it's probably a little too dark, even for like my self-tan shade. But I'm just going to drag it down because this is the only foundation I have right now. So put some on the back of my hand. And you know how sometimes when like, you're using either a brush or a beauty blender for like a long time and you just like need to switch it up. That's kind of like what I'm feeling right now. This isn't bad, I can make this work. Um, because I've just been using a brush for so long and when I use this I don't get it wet. So I was just in need of something different and like it's just like applying so much better for me now that I'm back to using this. So and then just to finish my chest, I'm just gonna take like half a pump on here just finish off my chest because i don't want to forget later <laughs> for concealer i'm going to use two today the elf one i love it it's just been a little heavy for me lately so i'm just going to do like a couple dots of it and then i have this becca concealer that i don't think is available anymore but it's literally my favorite and i like want to find another one <clears throat> I like want to find another one so bad. It's the Aqua Luminous Concealer. And it's just so like lightweight and just like pretty. And it's, it really balances this one out really, like very well. It's just like, oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to kind of mix them together. Oh, I love the color too. Like I just need to find this. I'm about to go on eBay and find it even though you should never do that. I'm going to. <laughs> Oh my god, it just like melts. Mm, it's so good. It's really similar to the NARS Radiant one, but it's just more dewy than that, and that's what I love about it. But I do need to get, I should get the NARS Radiant one again. I love that one. It just goes so fast. There's like not much product. I also, guys, you're going to be shocked by this because like I feel like for years now on YouTube, I've like talked shit about setting powders, like like translucent powders, but hear me out. I think I want to get one. And I need to, not just anyone though, like that won't do. I need a specific one. I need one that's like soft and like doesn't dry me out because I want my under eye to look luminous. And as much as I love my Studio Fix, I just need something a little more lo like luminous because this mattifies me and I don't want to be matte. I want to like, I would still put this like on other parts of my face, but to set my under eye, I'm just really wanting something like, like gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? So if you have any recommendations, let me know. There is another Mac powder. It's called like, it's actually what Give Me Sun is, but they have like a lighter shade. And maybe I'll try that for my under eye because I feel like Gimme Sun has a little bit of like a luminosity to it. 
So maybe I'll try that one, but if you have another one in mind, please let me know. I would love to find one that's like really pretty and will let me be do it because see, that just completely mattified my whole vibe. But that's all I've got right now. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and just kind of go over it just to try to bring back some luminosity since it is wet and that did kind of work. I'm on a dewy kick, okay? Bronzer, I'm gonna be using my Morphe bronzer, the Glamour Bronze in the shade Megastar. I'm gonna need another one pretty soon. But I'm not kidding you, this has lost me. I got it in March two years ago and I've used it just about every day, like maybe probably like four times a week for that long and it's lasted me forever. And it's only like $20. There's just nothing like it. All right, for a blush, I'm gonna be using Melba by MAC. And I do have um, a blush that's like a little bit shimmery still on my brush from like every other day that I use that Becca blush, but so it's going to have a little bit of luminosity and Melba doesn't really have that, but I think it looks really nice together. I've had like a frog in my throat the whole time I filmed this. I need to get it together. You guys know I like to put a little bit on my eyes and everywhere else. <laughs> and then for highlighter, I'm going to be using Whisper of Guilt. Actually, no. I think it's too golden. I'm going to use Opal by Becca. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to use Champagne Pop. It's like a good mix of those. Yeah, it's like champagne-y, obviously. And you guys know I don't like highlighter on my cheeks, but I'm going to put some on the tip of my nose. I like when people do it right here. So I'm gonna do it there. And I've even seen people do it like on the sides too. So when they like turn their head, you can still see. And then I'm gonna do a stripe. It's so cute. And then I'm gonna do a corner. This honestly, like for a holiday look, like we're doing, if you wanted to, you could totally just wash this over your whole entire lid and put a little bronzer in your crease and that would be so pretty, but it's not what I'm gonna do today. I'm kind of going out of order here. I usually do this after the eyes, but I already know that I like wanted to use this. Okay, so on my eyes, I'm gonna be using Yes to Sequin. It's like so pretty. It'll really go with our like holiday vibes and I'm just gonna put like a little wash of something on my crease, lol. <laughs> um, I need to like self tan my hands, but I'm just gonna use the Dose of Colors Baked Browns and take this one right here. You don't need much, they're very pigmented. And I'm just gonna put, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cover up our lid, but I'm just kind of putting a wash of this everywhere. If you need like an everyday palette and you like to wear like warmer like browns, I highly suggest getting that. It's just like, I use it seriously every single day, no matter if I'm wearing eyeshadow or not. I use it for the eyeliner and it's just like, they're so, such good quality. I highly recommend getting that. Yeah, so that's just kind of all we're looking for. And then I'm just going to actually use my finger. Also, don't mind my disgusting finger. I, it's from wearing press-ons for so long and not giving myself a break. It's a little disgusting. So I'm just trying to let it breathe, okay? Don't judge me. Um, so I'm just gonna take some on my finger and I'm just gonna put this all over the entire lid space. And I think these work the best with a finger. Um, you don't get as much pigment when you use a brush unless you get it wet, but I just wanted it to be like the normal like dry texture, so yes. Oh my god, that's what I was going for. To the other eye. Okay, I'm just gonna take my brush and just kind of blend with the crease. I love just how soft it is. It's like a little bit more than every day, but for me anyways, but I think it's so nice. Um, but I am gonna take this and really quick just run the crease color on our lash line. 
and then go back in with this brush into this brown. I'm just gonna kiss the outer corner very lightly. And then when there's less product, just kind of like move it around. But I want it to be very subtle. Like that. And then just run the extra under here. You guys know I like this super smoked out. Go ahead and do the other eye real quick. All right, now I'm gonna take a tiny brush with that dark brown again. And we're gonna do like a smoky liner. So I'm just like dabbing this really not very neatly on the lower lash line and just kind of flicking it out a little bit. But I'm not making a wing. Just flicking it out, letting it do its thing. And that's all we're gonna do. And then just like connect it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara and some brow gel. Okay, and since this is a holiday makeup look, I love to do just like a red lip. I think that's so pretty and I don't wear red very often. So I'm gonna be using, both of these products are from NYX um, and I believe the shade, okay, this is called Hot Red in the liner and then the lipstick is called Kitten Heels. And this is like the prettiest red. It makes your teeth look so white. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. This is not very sharp. Pause. Red, you can't mess around. It's gotta be sharp, so. And then I'm gonna start at the bottom, like I usually do. And I'm more so moving my head than this, just kind of setting it down and then letting it take the natural shape. It's super easy, especially when your pencil is sharp. And then I'm just gonna begin to fill in the sides. And then for the top, I'm gonna start right here at the top and then just kind of do the same thing. I move my head and not the pencil. We just wanna make sure it's symmetrical. We can always go in and clean up with like Studio Fix powder. I honestly think that looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna take this and the key is using as little as possible. So I'm just gonna very lightly. That honestly looks pretty good. And then I have actually this lip brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Studio Fix and just clean up. See, that just looks so good. Mm hmm Just looks a lot cleaner. Now I'm going to use some Morphe setting spray. I'm almost out of this. And then just to keep our overall dewiness, I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and press that in. And I guess it is like Christmas. I can put on a little highlighter. I'm just going to use Champagne Pop on this brush and I'm gonna seriously like do so little like that's it and then blend it and that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair get dressed and I will be right back okay guys I tried something new with the hair I did like those little accent braids and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about them yet. I think, I think I like them, but I'm gonna wear them today and just like kind of give them a try. But I think this would be something like fun to do for like the holidays if you wanted to do something different with your hair. I think they look cute if you like put all your hair behind you and like even let these two just like kind of be up here. I think that's cute. Or like if you put them all behind. That looks really cute too. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this holiday 
get ready with me holiday makeup tutorial. I don't really know what this is quite yet, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know I did a really simple makeup look, but this is just something realistic I would do for like Christmas if I was just going to be with my family or something. Obviously, this year we might have to be wearing a mask, but it's just fun to do it anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.